In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how you can get started with affiliate marketing as a beginner without a website. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, my name is Austin and welcome to my channel where I help you find success online. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you are interested in different tips and tricks and how to find success online. All right, so as I mentioned in the opener, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how you can start affiliate marketing without a website. Maybe you are just getting started, you're not really sure where to go, you're not really sure what to do. You you know that you want to make some money online, but you're seeing and hearing a lot of things. Maybe you need a website, maybe you don't. I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how you can get started without a website. Now, I ultimately recommend that you have your own space on the internet, which is a website, but for now you can borrow other websites in order to start making money and potentially drive traffic back to a website. At the end of the day, your end goal should be to have something. It doesn't have to be great, it doesn't have to be pretty, but it should be something that your followers, your customers, uh, people that wanna do business with you can refer back to uh, at some point in the future. All right, so the first thing that you absolutely wanna do is pick a niche. Now a niche is a topic area, it's a it's an area where you're going to focus and create content. The most popular niches that are out there are health, wealth, relationships, and technology. So when you think about health, it's you know how to lose weight, how to build muscle, um, uh, diabetes, all of the, the different health, uh, cigarettes, quit smoking, all of those things. Uh, wealth, make more money online, investing in stocks, saving money, stop spending money, things like that. And technology is technology. Uh, video games, computers, microphones, cameras, anything. So anyway, you pick a niche and, and just know that any niche can work. If you just want to do niches about, uh, do a, a website or, or create content about the Sharpie pen, you can do that. You can find success and you can make money with the Sharpie pen. Now it will take a little bit more research, a little bit more effort because your your population with a Sharpie pen isn't going to be as wide or as, as much as maybe someone that's looking to make money online. That's just the truth. Um, whenever you're picking a niche, just realize that the, the number of people that are looking for information that want helpful information is going to vary depending on the, the, the niche or the topic that you're focusing on. But the absolute first thing that you're going to want to do is pick a niche. The next thing that you're going to do, you're, you're going to want to do is pick a platform. Now, because you're starting off without a website, you're looking for something that's free and there are a ton of different options for you. The first thing that I recommend is actually creating a YouTube channel. Now, YouTube is great for a number of reasons. It's very close to having your own space on the web because you are on YouTube, which is someone else's platform, you're still technically borrowing it, but YouTube is great because you can make a connection just like I'm making a connection with you right over video. Um, it doesn't take a lot to warm up a customer if you wanna get them to buy. Uh, YouTube is just a great opportunity Another reason why I like YouTube is because it's the second largest search engine in the world and the first largest, the largest I should say, is Google and Google owns YouTube. So you can get found on Google and YouTube without uh, too much more effort. Uh, if, if you're not interested in creating video content, you can do free blogging platforms. There are a number of, of them out there like Medium. For example, a lot of people like to use and refer to Medium. You can actually use um, Quora as well as a blogging platform. Um, if you start off using these sites for creating content, it will be difficult to get the content off of these free platforms platforms into your own space. So just know that when you're creating content, if you're putting time, energy, effort into creating content on a free platform like Medium or Quora, it's going to be difficult to extract it at the very end. Uh, next, you can affiliate market and it's going to be a little bit more challenging as we go on is with forum sites. Uh, for example, the biggest forum site out there is Reddit. Reddit basically is a question, not necessarily a question answer site. Reddit is a site where you can go to and you can find subreddits or forums based on interest. So if you are interested in Sharpie pens, there are a number of different Reddits that are out there that just talk about Sharpie pens. They post images, questions, their experiences. As long as you're adding, adding value and, and being helpful, there is a market and there's a way to make money. Uh, there are other opportunities within forum sites. Uh, you can just Google, let's say, Sharpie forum, and there will be some forums that pop up. Obviously, there probably won't be as many Sharpie forums as like make money online forums or uh, security camera forums or whatever it may be, um, digital camera, DSLR forums. Um, if you just type in your niche and forum, there are a ton of topics out there. After forum sites, you can do a Q&A like Quora. Quora is a question and answer site. People go there looking for, for answers. They'll post a question like, how many, how, how long does a Sharpie pen last? 
You'll go in there and you'll answer questions and you'll provide value. And then you could potentially put in, um, a, you can't put in an affiliate link per se because moderators will, will, will block that and you can actually get banned from their site. But what you'll have to do is send them to a landing page or a, a, another page where you can collect information and then ultimately send them on to an affiliate offer. But look for Q&A sites where people are asking questions and you can go on there and answer them. The nice thing with a site like Quora is basically people are asking the same 10 or 15 questions. You can go in there and answer it, repackage it, answer the same way. Uh, but if you answer enough questions and you get enough upvo upvotes, you can gain a following. Uh, people will start looking for your answers. People will start asking you directly and you can gain a following that way. So Q&A sites like Quora are another great opportunity. Next are social media. And again, you are a beginner affiliate marketer and you don't want a website, you can't afford one or whatever. Uh, social media is another great way to use, um, to make money with affiliate marketing. Now with some of these like Facebook, you can't necessarily put in your affiliate link directly again because Facebook and, and social media in general, they their main goal is to keep their customers on their platform. And if you're sending them to an affiliate offer, an affiliate link, uh, that is taking them off and you will, um, you, you will get dinged. You will, um, you won't rank as high when new content is uploaded in the face of like Facebook, but you can use LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Now I have used each of these methods to drive traffic. Uh, most people don't use LinkedIn because they perceive LinkedIn to be about looking for a job. But in reality, LinkedIn is all about growing your brand. Think about, uh, as a content creator, think about all the things that are uh, uh, skills that are hireable or transferable to a job if you are creating content. For example, this YouTube video, public speaking, creating an outline, creating uh, like a script almost, um, editing, um, just thinking, critical thinking, uh, keyword research. These are all things that, that are transferable to an employer. An employer would like to see because you are de demonstrating these skills. People can see that I am talking into a camera with public speaking. So use LinkedIn because it's an untapped market. Within LinkedIn, there are LinkedIn groups. Um, you can basically like and, and follow and, 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 and connect with people from all over the world and start making money that way. So there's LinkedIn, there's Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, any social media that you're comfortable with, you can use that to grow your affiliate marketing business. The hardest thing with affiliate marketing is just getting out there and, and getting rejected. Um, quite honestly, because affiliate marketing is a type of marketing and marketing is basically sales, you will hear no a lot. You might lose friendships, people might um, they might unfriend you, for example, uh, but you're looking to grow a business and that's okay. Your business isn't for everyone. You're looking for the, the, the group of people that are interested in the product or service that you're recommending. And so don't be afraid to post your, your content out there, add value, help people out. If they like it, they're going to like it. If they don't like it, they're going to um, unfriend you or block you or whatever. So you just have to get over that mental hurdle of people not liking you, that, that fear that, that comes over. Um, so, the second step, and I kind of got off on a tangent there. The second step is picking a niche. The third step is keyword research. Now, if you're a beginner, you want to learn this phrase, niche down. Now, niche down is the art um, of, of, of taping, taking your niche and, and finding the less competitive keywords and phrases. For example, if, if, um, if my niche was lose weight, that's going to be very competitive. There are millions of people out there that are writing content on how to lose weight. Um, so what you want to do is you want to find topics and keywords and phrases that are less competitive. So um, lose weight versus how to lose 10 pounds fast. How to lose 10 pounds fast is probably going to be less competitive than lose weight. But then if you niche down even further, how to lose 10 pounds in 10 days as a single parent is going to be even less competitive than how to lose 10 pounds fast. So what you need to do for your niche, if you're just getting started, if you're a beginner, you need to learn to niche down. You want to niche down far enough where there is a lot less competition. You're not, comp com you're not competing against the big dogs that have a lot of money and a lot of employees, but you don't want to niche so far down where you're talking to one or two people. You want to find that happy medium. And that's why I, I think it is more of an art. Um, it, you're, you're probably not going to get it right the first time around, but 
if you keep at it, eventually you'll, you'll, you'll find success. And the best way for keyword research and niching down is to go to a search engine like YouTube or Google and basically just type and, and, and look at the results. For example, right now, if you typed in how to lose 10 pounds fast, um, Google will autofill or auto suggest the rest of that sentence. And that's going to be a keyword or a key phrase that people are actually searching. So one thing that you want to do if you're getting started, and remember this, is you want your search engine to autofill or auto suggest content to, to create. That way, you know that people are out there searching that information and it's a substantial amount of people. It isn't just one person that's asking you a one-off question. You're talking about tens of thousands, possibly even a million people that are searching how to lose 10 pounds in 10 days as a single parent. Uh, so if you go into keyword research, and I have a ton of videos about keyword research, but if you go in and you go into a search bar and you type in how to lose 10 pounds, everything that shows up after that is stuff that people are actually searching for. So if you just keep doing that and you find competition um, waning or decreasing as you continue to search and you niche down, that's when you wanna start looking at content to create. So after keyword research, that's when you start creating content. Now I recommend going in with the mindset that you're going to create at least 50 pieces of content in your niche. So if we go back to our example, how to lose weight, you're going to start off with how to lose 10 pounds in 10 days A and see what shows up and, and see if people are asking a question and write that down with a mindset that you're going to create content. Now, when you create content, you want to create the kind of content that is helpful, that is direct, that answers their question, that maybe sees around the corner and, and, and thinks about the other questions that they may want, that, that they may be thinking of when they're reading or watching your content. For example, if we go back to how to lose weight, people may be thinking, how to lose weight fast. So you might want to create content about answering that question and then say, how to lose weight fast. When should you lose weight fast? What are some of the warning signs if you're losing weight too fast? These are all things that people are thinking about when they're consuming content. And you want to go in and answer that question and be so helpful. Now, the reason why you want to be very, very helpful, overly helpful, almost too helpful is because when when you create this type of content, people start to trust you. They see you as an authority figure and they will take whatever action you direct them to take. For example, if you add in your content, click this link in the description to find out my magic pill to help you lose 10 pounds in three days. They're going to say, okay, th this guy gave me a ton of helpful information. Maybe he knows what he's talking about. Maybe I'll click that link and see what happens and, and see if this, this pill can really help me lose 10 pounds in three days. If you do that, people are going to feel compelled. Like they owe you something. You've helped them out. You've given them so much information. They're going to feel like they need to give something back. And that give back will be clicking your affiliate link or clicking a link to whatever you're directing them to take. So now that you've created the content, you're going to go out and find affiliate networks. Now, finding an affiliate network is very easy. And I actually recommend doing finding the affiliate network after you create the content because the content is most important. It's more important that you have content out there in the world and it's and it's bouncing around the corners of the internet and finding a home and, and, and finding people that are interested in it than finding an affiliate network. If you just go in and you Google your niche affiliate network, you'll be able to find hundreds, if not thousands of different affiliate programs that you can choose from. It's much easier for you to go back into your content and add an affiliate link than for you to have an affiliate program that you're gonna work with and then go in and create content. Make sure you create that content first to be helpful and to, and to start bouncing around the internet as opposed to worrying about the money. The money will always come second if you add enough value. If you're helpful enough, the money will come. So we find the affiliate networks, we add the affiliate links, and then the next step is you want to monitor your success and failures. One of the things that I recommend and not a lot of people talk about is analytics. The analytics is the data behind everything. The analytics will tell you what you're successful in. The analytics will tell you what you need to work on and improve in order to make more money. Uh, you want to look at things like click-through rate. Uh, you want to look at cost per click if you are doing um, paid advertising. You want to look at you. You want to look at the amount of time people are spending on page. Depending on the the method that you use for your platform, there is a number. Uh, of different analytics out there that will help you determine your success. If you don't know your analytics, if you don't understand the analytics, 
you cannot be successful over a long term because you don't know what you need to work on. You're going to think that everything's going great and you think that and, and you're going to wonder why you're not making any money. It's simply because you don't understand where your failures are, where your pitfalls are. Continuing on. After you understand your analytics, you're just going to repeat this over and over again. Now, I recommend once you start making money, um, you could probably, for less than $100 a year, you can have a website. One of the two things that you absolutely need to do uh, once you start making some money is invest in email marketing and invest in a website. Email marketing will grow and scale your business exponentially. Email marketing is the key. If you want to be a great affiliate marketer, you need to learn how to be a good email marketer. There's a number of reasons why you should consider email marketing as a priority. It actually might be a priority over a website. If you really think about it, you might want to uh, prioritize, prioritize email marketing over a website because you can um, you can use landing pages to collect email addresses. You can retarget for multiple offers and you can follow up with them every single day via an autoresponder. A website is nice so people can connect and, and see what you're about, see a little bit about your background. It's another way for people to know, like, and trust you. But if I was really honest and I was thinking about it, invest in email marketing. If you want to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing, click the first link in the description. In addition to learning and knowing everything that I know about affiliate marketing, you'll also get a free guide to email marketing. And as I just mentioned, email marketing is critical if you want to be successful in affiliate marketing. So make sure you click that first link in the description and I'll see you in the next video.